son of a... What's the matter, Dad? What do you mean, what's the matter? Look. Gino. Yeah. Yes, same issue this morning. Yes, the one by the road. It's all blocked up all over again. Them bastards been busy all night. Now I want you to do something about this, Gino, and I think you know what. Well, just... Look, Gino, I know I don't need to tell you how big of an issue this can become. Yes, I hear what you're saying, Gino. I understand that, but we are not having the same issue we had last year. Gino, I don't care who you're going to have to persuade, just... Alright, just do what you got to do, alright? Alright, yeah, bye now. Hey, uh, Dad? What'd you mean just now when you told Gino, do what you gotta do? What did I mean? I meant exactly what it sounds like. You see this culvert? Every single night them beavers chop down more trees and muck up that culvert. I sure as hell ain't got time to demuck it every day. Do you? Come on, take a look. Telling him to do what you gotta do. You ain't gotta shoot the kid. Every single day. Plugged up. Leave them beavers alone here. That whole pond floods up, rises up right over the road, flooding the whole thing. You want that? We could go the other way. We could go the other way. I'm inclined to think these beavers are smarter than we think. Intelligent, huh? I mean, look at all that. He's just making his home. Same as we're making our roads. Oh, is that so? Well, that's mighty interesting, son, but why don't you listen up? I want to tell you something. You go down the road about two miles out past the hollow. That is where you'll find what I call a smart beaver. Smart beaver. That's where you gotta go to find a beaver of any real intelligence. He's done pretty good. Found himself a pond well in off the road. Minds his own beaver business. He keeps to himself, we keep to ourself. Now, right here is what I like to call a dumb beaver. A beaver that ain't figured out yet, he ain't supposed to poke the bear. You know who the bear is, don't you? So if that very same beaver insists on continuously flooding the bear's road, seems to me it's the beaver's own fault if he gets bit. Look, Dad, all I'm saying is it doesn't seem like we're exploring every option when it comes to that there culvert. Strip of wire is obviously not doing the job. How hard can it be to make a cage around that thing that's not going to be as easy to muck up? Well, Jesus, son. You got to stop thinking so far outside the box with every single thing you do, you're going to run yourself up a wall. Okay, fine. You blow this beaver's brains out. What the hell's going to stop the next beaver down the road moving in when he finds out there's a vacancy here? What are you going to do, shoot every beaver in the state? Look, this ain't the Holiday Inn, son. If that beaver down the road ain't got the sense not to come around here, hell, he might not be smart as I think he is. Now, do I think a bullet is the only way to solve this problem? No. I don't reckon you'll understand this right off, but in time you might. But there's certainly something to be said for the easiest way to solve it.